Habitat has this vision for humanity of a world where everyone has a decent place to live. And being part of that vision is super empowering and, and super satisfying. I'm Alan Thorpe. I'm the Group CEO of Habitat for Humanity New Zealand. Habitat for Humanity New Zealand has been around for 28 years where we've helped and assisted 530 whanau into their own homes. And more recently, we've expanded the range of things that we've been doing to help the housing in New Zealand. Housing is incredibly complex, but often housing deprivation comes because of systemic bias. And that's where systems don't work for vulnerable people. So what Habitat does is we look at those systems and we say, how can we bring down the barriers to enable vulnerable people to have access to housing? Our specific offerings are the Curtain Bank, where we supply curtains to homes in Auckland that need them. And we also do renovations. For instance, if someone has a bathroom that has got holes in the floor, a lack of ventilation, we can assist them in doing a house renovation, which will enable them to have a functioning bathroom, which then leads to a healthy home. Our partnership with AMI is going to help transform the lives of 75,000 Kiwis, and we are so excited about that. Not just because of the money that's been given to us, but through our ability to get the message of housing and housing deprivation out to New Zealanders and to create a group of New Zealanders who are actually going to support what we're doing as an organisation. When we go into a home we look for a range of things. The first thing is weather tightness, and then we think about security, then we also think about livability. What's the warmth of the home? We know through the research that if a home drops below 18 degrees, the likelihood of mould growing is much more significant. The problem with mould is that it produces respiratory problems. Habitat finds people who want to do good. They're primarily not coming for the money or for the job status. They're coming to Habitat because they recognise that as an organisation, we are transforming other people's lives. And part of them actually wants to be involved in that process. I'm Yukio, I'm from Japan. I work for Habitat as a builder, helping uh, uh, houses. Well, our job is so how home to be dry and warm. And then we help continue improving uh, their house. Sometimes, you know, house is a little bit bad stage. By the time I finish the job and they are so happy, and uh, you know, that's, that's a great reward. I'm Marilyn and I work in the Curtain Bank. I have been a seamstress all my life. A lot of the homes that receive our curtains are homes where there is young children who have been in the hospital for respiratory illnesses. I feel as if I'm helping these people to live in a warmer home. You just feel great that you're doing something for other people in your community. I'm Richard, I'm a curtain installer. And my aim is to take houses that are cold and damp and make them warm and dry. One of the things I love is seeing the pride that people take in their homes after getting new curtains installed. It just lifts them quite a bit. I wanted to work here because it's a great way of helping people to lift from a place where they, where they can't see the way forward to giving someone a bit of hope that there's a way out of their sickness and a better life. I think uh, our name actually says it all, Habitat for Humanity. We're all humans and to be fully human, we actually want to help other humans. It's so rewarding to be actually be part of an organisation where you are making a real difference in that family's life because of the work that you did today. Once you see one or two families be transformed, it's incredibly powerful to go, that's why I do my job, that's why I come here every morning, I'm here to help other people, and we want to show love and care and concern to others and help them in any way that we can. Looking into the future, we want to become the leading voice in housing in New Zealand, and that's quite a big goal. We've got lots of experience across the housing system, and we believe that we have a voice that needs to be heard, it needs to be heard by government, it needs to be heard by organisations, it needs to be heard by our community. And we bring people together in order to actually solve this problem that we have in New Zealand.